Hi, this is Benjamin Faust, and today I'm going to talk to you about the two types of money supply expansion. This is an expansion video of a previous video I did called the G equals T plus D plus M model video. What we're diving into a little bit deeper, and just to remind you, uh, the G equals T plus D plus M model is where we take government spending and we look at the choices the government has to make in regards to balancing their spending so they can continue operations if they don't have enough tax revenue in order to, to fund their spending. Let's look a little bit deeper into M, which is monetization. And there's a lot of confusion out there about this, and that's why I want to go over it in a little bit more detail. When the government is printing money, they do it for several reasons. In fact, they do it for two main reasons. Those reasons are accommodation and monetization. As you know from the previous video, when the government is printing money for the purposes of spending it immediately, or sometimes even printing it to try to get out from under some debt, that is called monetization. The other purpose of spending is accommodation. Accommodation is when you're trying to help a problem in the economy. For example, if you're in a bad recession, the economy is bad, a lot of people, particularly uh, those well-off people, the wealthy people, and large institutions, they tend to be hoarding cash. And when they're hoarding cash, there's less cash available for trade to flow, and so there's a lockup in the money supply. One thing the government can do is print money, push it into the economy to keep trade flowing. That is accommodation. If we are accommodating a problem in the economy, we don't need to worry about the things we worry about with monetization. From the previous video, I did briefly mention a consequence of printing money for the purposes of spending it is that you're gonna debase your currency. You're gonna get inflation. That is not the case with accommodation. If your government is known for keeping a stable monetary policy and they're simply expanding the money supply to keep credit from locking up or to loosen loosen up the economy a bit, if they're just pushing money in to keep trade flowing appropriately, that's not gonna cause inflation, that's gonna be accommodation. And so don't get confused if you hear the government has expanded the money supply a lot and you're worried about inflation, you gotta think, is the government using it to pay for spending or is the government using it to accommodate a problem? For instance, during the 2007 to 2009 recession, the United States government printed all kinds of money and pushed it out in several different ways, buying several different kinds of assets, and a lot of people on the internet were saying, we're gonna see inflation. They're printing too much money. It's gonna cause an explosion. We're gonna have, we're not seeing it now, they said, because at the time, inflation even went negative for a while. We call that deflation. We're gonna see a problem, they said, though. These people, they said, we're gonna see inflation in the future. Well, it's not the case because the government was just trying to accommodate a problem in the economy. So um, here's one way to tell what's going on. If there's an emergency, if there's a recession, they're printing more money, it's probably accommodation. If they're having budget problems, that means this. That means when your government spending is greater than your tax revenue and you're having trouble borrowing money, if this is the problem, you know they're using monetization there in order to pay for it. If you're having a budget problem, it's usually monetization. That will lead to inflation. 